about to take him across and pull up. Mo Charlo, a former Nevada small forward, has played professionally in Belgium and with many NBA development teams, but he still strives to make an NBA roster at age 30. If, if it happens, you know it happens. You know, like you said now, later in my career, um, I feel like I'm right there. Um, as I get older, it's, I'm getting better. It's, it's crazy, but um, I feel that I feel that I'm, I'm right there. You know, it's just a matter of uh, NBA team, like the Sacramento Kings or whoever, just pulling the, you know, pulling that notch and, and giving me the opportunity. Um, they've had nothing but great things to say about my game. Um, made first team All Showcase this year. Um, made the All-Star team down in New Orleans, and that was a blast. So just the hard work and, and the dedication to keep fighting, keep fighting, even though you catch some bad breaks on, on the way, you can't give up. You know, it's not always going to be smooth sailing. So for me, just catching those bad breaks, it, it just made me such a stronger person. Mo, talk about adversity. How has that propelled you to keep reaching for the stars, to never give up? You know, just growing up, I uh, kind of grew up in a, in a tough background. Um, didn't have my father around, so it was just my mom raising four of us. Um, my little sister, her dad came along um, when she was little, so you know that was pretty much a father figure in my life. But for the longest, it was just my mom, man, and just seeing the the struggles that she went to to put food on the table for us, closing our back, um, you know, just taking care of the household as a single parent. I seen how how tough it was. She always wanted to have provide for us the best way she can and she wanted us to have the best the best things the nicest things so for me as a little kid seeing how hard my mother worked to, to do that it kind of installed me to okay I don't want to I don't want to be in this position like she was you know when I have a family I have a daughter six year old so now I'm not I don't want her to have to struggle and be in, in the same position that me and my brothers and my sisters were when we were little so it's just showing me and giving me uh, the strength to, to just keep working, man, and, and never give up on your dream. Mo, man, it's it's been eight years since you played your final game here at the University of Nevada, Reno. Talk about what you felt when you walked onto this court. Man, a lot of memories, bro. Um, like I say, walking there in this building, I look up at the banners. Um, got a couple of banners, you know, from coming here and winning a lot of games, um, the tournament, but just walking into a sellout crowd and Everybody going crazy, screaming for you, um, having your back, man, and just the, just the, whip, the winning atmosphere that we had, man. And it was crazy, and the buzz that we had throughout Reno. Um, everybody was really rooting for us, and it just brings back a lot of, a lot of great memories. With all your latest Kings news and Reno Bighorn news, I'm Leo Bias reporting with KingScoop.com.